Hey guys, Pete here with Jaya Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to create a split screen view in QGIS so that you can analyze your different data types in a unique way. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I have a QGIS project open, and I just have one uh, raster file here that we'll use as part of the example here. So in QGIS, you're able to come up to the menu bar up at the top here, and under View, you could create a new map view. I have a dual screen, and for some reason, this keeps popping up on the other side, so I apologize. But you could keep doing this. There's a hotkey, which is Control M, or you could simply do what I'm doing, click at the top, View, New Map View, and you could keep going on and on. And when I grab the top of one of these maps, you'll see, and I hold down the left uh, button on my mouse, you see this blue area kind of highlights. It means that you could dock it onto those blue areas. So it could be on the top, on the right side, perhaps on the bottom. Oops. And you could go nuts with all the different types of map views you want. And of course, too many might be again too many so in my case here I'm just gonna do two so even if I have this dot here I could either uh, X out and delete it or I could simply um, once it's docked down here I could grab it again by left clicking on my mouse and holding it down and just dragging it out or if it's you don't like to do that you can simply hit this little button here, which kind of pops it out. Okay, I'll actually dock it on the right side here. So I have my main map, and then I have map here, map number one. And what we'll do is, on map number one here, on the right side, if I click this little wrench, it says view settings, this little icon. What we want to do is synchronize the view center with the main map. So I'll go and click onto that, and that looks good. So now it's synchronized, but the scale isn't quite right. And what I mean synchronized is on the main map here with my hand that I'm panning around, the, on, the, on the right side there's a little dot that's following, so it's synchronizing as I move my mouse around. But we also want the scale to match. So let's go back over here to the map one under the settings and we'll click on this box here that says synchronize scale as you see now kind of popped to the same scale so you know this is really useful so if you're just analyzing you know like a raster file it doesn't have to be just raster files it could be the base map it could be your own data and we'll go over that here in just a second but um but yeah let's go ahead and add some base maps and just to give you another example if we come up here to web and I'm using my quick map services plugin and I'll put a link in the description down below if you guys have questions on how to add these base maps basically I have Google ESRI OSM etc um, I'm gonna add a terrain as well as a hybrid aerial okay so I'm gonna turn off my raster file what we need to do now is create a theme and that theme is something we can reference um, and this theme also assigns which base map goes to which side like either the main view or map one so for example if I just leave one clicked this hybrid it will be on the right side alternatively if I just leave the terrain clicked it will also just be the one on the right side and the hybrid will be on this side so let me show you so let's go back to that first scenario so hybrid only one being clicked it's going to be on the right side and the terrain will be defaulted to the left side and to add the theme what we want to do is go over to the left side under layers and click the little eye and so add a theme and the theme I want is 
base map view. Okay. So now what I'll do is come up here to my set view theme and I'll click the one I just created, base map view. Okay. So now if I turn on that terrain, it is on the left side and the hybrid's on the right side. As I zoom in on the main map, the right map here, it follows. So I'm right on top of the tip of this little round mountain feature here. Now if I wanted to switch these, say I wanted the hybrid over on the left side and the terrain on the right side, what I'll do is just leave the one I want on the right side checked on this side here, which is the terrain. And what I could do is over here on the manage map themes, I could replace theme. And I want to replace the map view that I just created. Say yes. Okay. And again, it's on map view. And I turn on the hybrid. Okay. Now the aerial's on the left side. Hope that's not too confusing, but that's just another flavor of doing this. And of course, you can add your own data to this. Um, if I add some vector layer, I got some sample data here. I'll go and add that. And close. And let's go ahead and zoom to the layer. So it looks like it's right over here. And of course, if I wanted the sample data on the other side with the train, for example, I can either create a new view or overwrite what I just had, but let's go and just create a new view, or I'm sorry, a new theme. So under layers, I'm clicking that little eyeball saying add theme, and I'll just say a uh, vector data. Go and say okay. And on the map one, on the right side, set view theme. Here's my vector data theme. Let me just turn off the, that one and actually let me just turn that on. There we go. So it's on the right side and I could turn on the hybrid. There we go. So there you go. Um, it's just a, a neat way to play with your data, analyze some data in a split screen, synchronized view. So you guys have any questions, I know that might have been a little confusing. By all means, leave a script or a, a message down below in the comments. I'll, I'll be more than happy to uh, clarify that. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.